Hi, welcome. Excuse me, that is not ladylike at all. Leave the hamster alone. I'm gonna throw those at you. Hi. We're gonna do a favorites video. Are we ready for this? I'm not wearing any makeup because I'm not going anywhere and I'm running low on a lot of things. And uh, I only have like $200 to like spend on makeup right now. <laughs> I like don't even have $200. Like. I have over like $2,000 in loans that I need to pay right now, and that's really where my money should be going. But your girl needs more setting powder. <laughs> so why don't we start with that? Hi! I have both high-end and drugstore in here. This isn't my everyday bag. This is my everyday bag. And it's like full. <laughs> There's like three like eyeshadow palettes in here. And then, hold on, it's really hot. I'm just gonna turn my fan the other way. We're just gonna, we're just gonna start pulling products. So, I think we all know what this product is. This is the Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent. And there's literally nothing. There's nothing. I went in and I like took the little like plastic thing out that has the holes on it where like you can shake it and like it like I don't know it sieves it for you like is that the word that I'm looking for I really like this I tried this about a year ago um a small I, I got the sample size and at first I really didn't like it because going into my next product this is the elf translucent setting powder I used elf before I used Laura Mercier. Now with e.l.f. I don't find as much like flashback or like whiteout when I use it but when I started using the Laura Mercier I noticed that a lot under my eyes and right in my t-zone I would notice it um, and then I noticed it with this and then not with this so I was like did I just like get a bad did I, did I just get a bad product or like did I get a bad product of this the, like you know the second time and then the first time we really like this I'm just peep my corner Hello. I'm just gonna open this up see pour powder here I kind of like that they have like step-by-step -step stickers it's like thanks I'm already stupid enough might as well just fucking tell me where to put everything else comes with a little poof it says e.l.f. It's like really dirty because I recently used this. I haven't used this in a while. I've been using the Laura Mercier one. Oh, I just got powder all over my laptop. <laughs> I don't think it's this t-shirt specifically. Oh, it is. Just kidding. See, I have like makeup on this t-shirt. I, I'm like disgusting when it comes to doing my makeup. Especially on a Sunday morning. Just rub that shit. Well, skip backwards and we're gonna go over to lotion moisturizing keeping our skin healthy I use Eucerin um, I haven't actually used it for like a month or so ago um, I went to LA recently uh, for like a family trip and I was like oh I know I'm gonna get sunburned and I totally got sunburned <laughs> totally got sunburned <laughs> So I was like, oh, I know I'm going to get summer and I need lotion. I didn't want to bring my Aveeno. I love Aveeno, but I have the lavender scent and like my skin, when it's irritated, it doesn't like, like scent or anything, you know, like a perfume, like mixed with it. It needs to be like a non-scented, like no dye, very sensitive, dramatic like that, inside and out. <laughs> So I really like this Eucerin Skin Calming Natural Oatmeal Enriched one. Um, this was just in the travel size, clearly in the Target section, Target section, and the travel section at Target is what I'm trying to spit out because I'm, my brain's fried right now. It's the lighting, I swear to God. So what this does, it helps 
calm and it helps prevent dry and itchy skin. It is fragrance free. And it's dermatologist recommended. I mean, who doesn't know what Eucerin is? I'd question if you lived under a rock or anything. I just never used it until like recently. Like I've, I'm a huge Aveeno person. I actually, hold on a second, I'm just gonna turn around to my little cubby. This is um, what I use at night. It's a night cream. This is the Aveeno Ultra Calming Nourishing Night Cream. Um, I still have like half, just kidding. I have like less than half, like less than a fourth left. I used to use this as like a primer before my primer. But after like two or three uses, like my primer would start to like pill up on my face. I don't know if that's the word that I'm looking for, but it started to like ball up on my face and it was like clogging my pores and I was breaking out really bad after using it. But I find that after I use this with my face wash and I use um, the Aveeno foaming one, like the gentle foam, I really like using that one. All right. So this is a Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I have used like primer after primer after primer, and this is the one that I've really enjoyed using. Let me see if I can find any silicone base or like pore pore filler. I have like Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Re Eraser, Elaser, Eraser. What? Um, this is what I've used throughout high school, like from like freshman year to like junior year. This was like my holy grail. And then I got the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer. Um, oh okay, so this is like a BB cream, but it has like the consistency of, it has silicone in it. So, you, can you see, can, can y'all see that? This is my winter shade too, so that's kind of sad that like it's blending out on my hand a little bit. Especially when I like really walk. Wow. I'm losing my tan. <laughs> but yeah, like you can you guys see how it's like sitting on my skin? I know like, oh it's meant for your face, it's not meant for the rest of your body. But it's still, like if it's gonna, if it's supposed to settle into my pores, it should be doing that on my hand as well. Like it shouldn't just do that on my face. And whenever I would use the silicones, it wouldn't work like it wouldn't it wouldn't work like it would like pill up on my face you know like it would ball up and stuff and everything would get clogged and I just broke out even more than I already do and I pay I think it's 26 at Ulta oh. <laughs> my friend's moving like two blocks away from me and she just sent me her address right now so I'm gonna go visit her tomorrow after work and help her move in for a little bit. Yay! <laughs> Peep my baby hair that's growing back. This is what broke off from my birth control. My birth control like really thinned out my hair and it just broke. I gave myself a haircut, like a little trim, like maybe two weeks ago now. My roots are coming in and like I really need to color my hair. Okay, I need the Too Faced Hangover Primer, um, silicone free. That's one of the main things that I really like about this, but another thing that I really like about this is the coconut water. Oh my god, when I first tried this, I had like the, the tiniest little sample size, like the tiniest little thing in the world. And I made that last, I made that shit last, because I just loved it. I love the cool feeling that it gives you when you put it on, I love how like when, when you put it on it's like water like what <laughs> what sorcery is this I'm like running low on it so I probably have maybe two pumps maybe three pumps maybe four god let's hope for four but last time when I ran out I just cut the top off and I would put like two bobby pins on the sides of it to like keep it it's not like completely airtight but you know as much air to like keep it from drying out but like, if you cut this open, you literally have like six more faces in here. Six more. Six more makeup looks. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna skip over to eyes real quick. I only have two things for eyes. So, like I said in another video, but that video is just like dragging to upload. I don't know what's going on. It's probably just my internet. My internet's horrible. My laptop's a piece of shit, so... 
who knows? Anyway, um, so my favorite brand is Too Faced, and you will notice this. It is just products, but it's absolute fucking magic, and I love it so much. Uh, I threw it back in my bag, but what I left off on was eyes and eyeshadow primer. This is the uh, eyeshadow insurance. This is the 24 hour anti-crease primer. And I love this primer. I love this primer. This is the only primer that I've ever used for my eyes. I'd always use concealer. But this primer is life. It's life. It's life giving. It's almost as life giving as this. Almost. Like is still godly. Like this is godly. Anyway, so yeah, I'll, like I'll go in with this. I'll like you know dot dot, dab that in, work it in, set it, do my eye look, and then if I'm doing a glitter look, I'll just put this back on over where the glitter is gonna go, and I'll just put the glitter right on it, blend it out a little bit, make it look a little better, and it's like amazing. I love it. I love this product. This product is just perfect. It's perfect. Alright, now the other eye product. Shut up, computer. I'm just gonna leave some of that. The other product that I am doing is Drugstore. Now, this is the Laura Mercier Voluminous Original in black. Uh, but yes, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with the Better Than Sex Mascara because, you yeah, know, it's a little difficult sometimes. It, it can be really difficult sometimes. And I've tried like the waterproof one as well. And you know, I kind of like the waterproof one, but not as, <sighs> it's up in the air. Um. My eye makeup tends to like melt after a little while and I'm just kind of smear, but like that's everybody. That's everybody. But with the Too Faced mascara, it would like smudge under my eyes within like an hour or two of wearing it. This one, give it like three hours and it's still going strong. Go to eyebrows. This I got as a Christmas present. It is the sample size. This is the Benefit Cabral. Goals. What I love about this product, there's like two things, but I really like this product. Um, one, the brush comes with it. Yes. 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 And then, second part, the product literally unscrews like yes thank you this was smart this was convenient I just like dropped something and I don't know what I don't know that was really random anyway what I love most about this product is it is a like gel to powder formula and like you know I'm lighting thank you are you backwards I don't know <laughs> okay we're gonna go to the face now. I have two face products. Um, right now I don't have like a favorite foundation or BB cream. I'm in between shades, which means I'm in between like brands. And now we're just gonna skip that all together. We already went over um, powder. So I'm gonna skip over to bronzer. And this bronzer, please bear with it, it is another sample size. And literally, I need to throw this out because I have hit pan and I've tried to resurrect it from hitting pan. And it, 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 horrible. It was just, it's so bad. But this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium to Deep. This is their matte bronzer and I'm literally going to splurge later and buy myself a full size because it is about time and you will see why right now. So they can make sure nothing falls out. This is why. This is why. This product, it's super, super, super easy to blend out. I just love it so much. So much. I love Too Faced. Not sponsored. Should sponsor. And my second product is from the drugstore. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. Precious Petals. This is what it looks like. Hey. 
it's so pretty. It's so pretty in pink. I like, I love it. It's not like pinky pinky. It's, it has like a nice gold sheen, but like it'll blend so well with your blush. It blends in just beautifully. Just beautiful with it, beautifully. We're just, we're just gonna do a little swatch real quick. <laughs> yes, this is like a no makeup, no primer. Oh my god, yes. Y'all, y'all see that? Do, does y'all see that? Yeah. Girl, yes. Like. That was literally it. That's literally everything. Oh, wait, there was one more thing in there. It was a lip product. Um, it's just chapstick. Because I'm pathetic. This is the Blistex Medicated Lip Balm. I bought this in Florida because I like lost my EOS. I actually left it here at home. Um, and I like bought this in Florida. <laughs> Give you a little bit of like a tingling feel, and it's just it's wonderful. I love it. It actually really is moisturizing. I really, really like it, especially before I put on any matte anything on my lips. It's great. And that is it. That is it. This is one of the most cringe-worthy favorites videos in the entire world ever for my birthday I got a hamster I got a new hamster I'm 20 I'm 20 years old I'll be able to buy my own cigarettes next year and alcohol top and then adjust you Ooh, you guys are gonna see a little like peek in my room let me know if you guys want like, a room tour. That'd be really fun. Okay. I don't think this is gonna let me like switch cameras. That's so lame. Hi. Okay. Let's just carefully. Just kidding. I totally woke him up right now by doing that. Fluffy. Fluffy. Where are you? I can't see. I can't like tell. You guys can like see anything. Look, it's fluffy. <laughs> Hi, fluffy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. I love you. Oh, God. This lighting is, like, gold right now. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. I should just film right here. Forget the corner. We're just going to film here. <laughs> Hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Please go follow me on Instagram. And I promise I will get Snapchat done today. <laughs> I literally just have to like make a new account for the channel. So I'm going to go and do that. And you guys are going to go like and subscribe. And you're going to go follow me on Instagram. And you guys are going to go and live fab.